How about when it comes to improving ventilation or CO2 removal? The two main variables we adjust are the tidal volume here and the respiratory rate because they control minute ventilation. Now, always use predicted body weight, not actual body weight to calculate to set the tidal volume. In ARDS, we aim for a lung protective strategy, six mil per kg of predictable body weight tidal volume. In most other condition, a range of six to eight mil per kg of predicted body weight is acceptable. Now, if more ventilation is needed, it's generally safer to increase the respiratory rate rather than the tidal volume to reduce the risk of volutrauma. But remember that the higher the respiratory rate, the shorter respiratory cycle is, which affects the IE or inspiration expiration ratio now how do we set the tidal volume in different modes again in volume control and prvc modes the tidal volume is set directly and can be easily adjusted while in pc pressure control and pressure support modes tidal volume is not set directly instead it depends on the pressure gradient between the peak inspiratory pressure and the peep and it depends on the inspiratory time now to increase tidal volume pressure control mode increase we, we simply increase the inspiratory pressure or peak inspiratory pressure in general or decrease the peep and, and careful as they may affect as this may affect oxygenation or doing both just widen the pressure gradient between the peep and peak inspiratory pressure the wider the gradient the higher the tidal volume the shorter the, the smaller the gradient the less tidal volume or increase the inspiratory time to allow more time for lung filling it's very similar in pressure support mode again it's the same concept just different terminology so we increase the gap we increase the pressure support setting and just increase the gap between the peak inspiratory pressure and the peep or increase the inspiratory time but here it's not directly set but can be adjusted by modifying the flow cycle threshold we explained this earlier in this video so lowering the flow cycle prolong the inspiratory time while raising it let's say from 25 to 50 percent shorten the inspiratory time and the shorter the inspiratory time is the less tidal volume is and the opposite is true